Then I'm going to co cover my seam roll first with the flannelette. And for my seam sample, I'm going to press this open over top of the seam roll. I'll cover it with the Batiste press cloth. Nice thing about Batiste is that you can see through it. And I'm pressing down on that. You can get that really quite nice and flat. And this is lambskin that I'm using, so it's nice and soft, fairly thin. It's not a problem to get it flat. For the dart, I'm going to change over and use my Taylor's ham, covering it again with the flannelette so I don't leave any sort of imprint. Now you'll remember that the top portion of the dart, we had cut it down the center, so I'm going to open that part up first. And covering it with the press cloth. The lower part of the dart, I had clipped it, and shaping that over the tailor's ham, the lower part is going to be pressed over to the one side at the center back. get a nice dart turning out there. Now to fuse the interfacing, I'm going to cover my maple block with a piece of flannelette. Again, even the imprint from my ironing board cover could be pressed into the leather. So I like to use a nice flat surface. The maple block gives a nice firm surface. So I'm going to warm up the leather. I'm going to cover it with the batiste. Now this is a weft insertion interfacing. And usually I'll just very lightly steam that. So if it's going to shrink it'll pull up just a little bit before it actually gets fused to the leather. You want to make sure that you don't have any overhang that's going to get fused to your press cloth. I'm going to cover this then with the brown paper press cloth that's marked this side up. Whenever you're pressing or fusing interfacing, it's always a lift and press motion. It's never a gliding motion. And you can leave it there for about 15 seconds and then I move the iron slightly forward so part of it's getting pressed or fused again a second time and we're going to check this in just a minute and see how our fuse is. You'll find that the interfacing won't fuse the same way that it'll fuse to fabric. With fabric it actually sort of melts right into the fabric and it's not going to react the same way with leather. I'm just going to pull on that a little bit and it looks like I've got a good fuse there that it's holding quite well. Now if I were to turn this over, you can see just the beginning on this new paper press cloth, some of this is starting to come through. So that's why you want to make sure that you have your paper press cloth marked. You're always going to use it on the one side. So the weft insertion um, interfacing works out quite well. It still allows the leather to drape but it's going to give you that firmness that you need in waistbands and jacket fronts, those areas.